development to production. This is a basic stamp 2 microcontroller, a finished product. It starts off on a panel of 50. It looks like this. And we'll take it through this screen printer here that will actually lay down uh, just the right amount of uh, solder paste on all the electrical contacts, the, the solder pads, which are the, the brass colored um, pads on these boards. And that gives just enough um, tackiness to like stick surface mount parts in it and not have them slide off with, with a little bit of jostling. We bring that over here to the pick uh, and place machine. And we have this little set up with a whole bunch of parts. This has multiple heads on it that actually pick up multiple different parts at the same time, scan them really quickly to monitor their position and make final adjustments to make sure that they're aligned properly. And then it sticks them in that solder base on all 50 of those modules on that panel. When that's done, uh, the whole panel will come out here to a little inspection station where somebody can take a look at it under magnification to make sure that everything's placed properly. And then it goes on to this oven, which is a special recoil oven that has a, a deep profile in it that we programmed into this particular product. The way this works is there's a number of fans in here that control the heat um, so that we have this profile that kind of like ramps up slowly to the temperature where it peaks at the end up above the melting point of the solder paste. And then that solder paste will turn to the molten salt solder and all the parts will just kind of settle into place and then it will solidify and come out the other end completely definitely. This is a selective solder machine that actually um, 
kind of squirts a little fountain of solder up through that little silver cylinder that you see on the monitor. And it you know, solders, there we go, you can kind of see the solder come on top. That's about 617 degrees Fahrenheit. So this has a program in it, kind of like what we would have in the pick and place machine behind us, where it'll know where all the solder points are for the through hole parts that go through the board. And it will run the board, well, it'll have a thousand of solder underneath all the solder packs. So, uh, I take a lot of work off of our hands.